morning guys this is day 20 so today's video is gonna be something about um it's a little hard the topic but generally I'll give a little background of where it comes from and what the advice is okay so I was having a talk with my friend yesterday and um, the basis of the conversation was basically you must enjoy what you're doing a lot while you're working towards it and I was saying that there's going to be times when you're working and hustling a lot, you're not going to fully be orgasming or just enjoying every part of it, but you're just gonna to have to do the thing that needs to be done, whether you feel like it or not, so you get the result that you want, right? And it's, I made a similar video last week where um, my friend asked me a very similar question, but this one is very different, right? So I wanna differentiate between the two first. So the last week, the talk I had with my friend was straight up telling me that you are working really hard, but I'm here to tell you that it is not you. You come from a place of fun and partying and drugs, and if you completely let it go, you will hate yourself for later down the road. And that was pretty easy for me to answer, right? Because I, I made the whole video about it, how like that you can completely evolve to be different people and um, at different stages of your life. And it doesn't mean like, you know, you're, you're letting go of who you are. <laughs> so that was, that was pretty easy to answer. But what this is about is more like, it's, it's a little bit more in depth, right? Because this friend of mine is not somebody who's just, you know, partying all over the place. He's, he's coming from a place where it's the idea of all, all work and no play makes Johnny a dull boy. It's a video that Elliot made a um, long time ago and he explains it really well. So point well taken, you know, it's true that I'm working a lot. I, I wake up, I make these videos, I meditate, I try to go to the gym, and right, right after that, I start to work until pretty much the time I go to sleep, right? That's what I'm trying to aim for, seven days a week, until I get this thing off the ground well beyond five to six K a month, right? So it's gonna take some time. So what 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 is the basis? What am I supposed to do, right? This is the way I would um, advise anybody who's in this and especially entrepreneurs, right? If somebody was to do work they completely enjoy, right? So they literally went through um, a series of trying out what they enjoy in life and then do it. Say, for example, I'll use music because I think in my um, opinion, it's the highest form of like you know hierarchy of work i think people who create music not just you know like ones that's auto-tuned and are not auto tuned what do you call it? like made to be in trends but people who create music that's like um in line with what they really feel i think that's like the highest form of work there is available in, in the planet right after that i think it's entrepreneurship like just finding out what works and try to scale it really big so yeah having that said Using that example of what people think is the is their soul work what they will enjoy the most every single day The chance of that working out realistically in the economy is quite low This is where there's a big flaw of You must love what you do. You must do your passion. You must um, You know like all those cliche um, Titles that people like to embody. There's actually a flaw in it because it makes you, it makes other people easily give up like, damn, I, I can't do what I enjoy because what I enjoy is like jacking off. Or like, I can't enjoy what I do because I, I want to play video games all day. They quickly let it go and then they just go to like corporate world. But the flaw is that you don't have to be in love with what you do like that because the joy comes cyclical. The joy comes in little boosts, and then you go in uh, of time of discipline. So I'll give an example. I am sitting in my room, and I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm, I'm lost, I'm stuck and stuff, and I, I watch a video about um, entrepreneurship, I get psyched up. I listen to a tune that I like, and it gets me really psyched up, and I get all that emotion. I use that emotion to write down a plan that's going to get me out of this whole rat race, that's going to get me out of this whole you know, having to work my ass off for everything, right? And that's me putting all that emotion in a plan. Now, I'm 
addicted and in love with that emotion. I want to get out of the thing. But the plan, maybe not so, right? So the plan is me um, clicking buttons and you know ranking websites and doing nitty gritty things. And at night, I, I might not you know dream of doing this, but I'm addicted to the excitement and the plan. What doing this will get me to, right? Now, obviously, there's a lot of factors that go into it because you the plan has to be intact. And when the plan is not working, you have to know when to change it, right? But that's a different video. So I just wanted to um, share a little bit about the two differences in that. You must find out in a way what you're trying to get to. And one of the best metrics to use for that is energy, right? I made a video about this earlier before, right? Energy is the metric. Right? You have to be very self-aware. That's why meditation is so important, right? Because you can pinpoint exactly where energy comes from. So I'll say it again. When you're thinking about taking action in a certain direction, when you are anything that happens, you will realize that it either energizes you or leaves you neutral and sometimes takes energy from you. When you have to face with a negative person, it de-energizes you. You can feel this. Um, you know, like when you have a bad conversation, it makes you feel down. When you write down your goals, right? When you read your goals, let's say after you read it out, it should energize you. Maybe not as much as, as the first time you wrote it, but after some time goes by and you're having a bad day, you sit down and look at your goals again and where you want it and you envision where it's gonna look like when, you ha when you're there, it should fill you up with energy. And I think that is much more accurate than just saying like, oh, are you enjoying your work? Or oh, uh, is that your passion? Have you been dreaming about clicking, clicking buttons since you were a kid? That's not realistic. Realistic is energy. It's like what I am doing day to day, when I think about it and when I envision myself where it's going to get me in the near future, you can't be saying like, oh, five years, 10 years from now, that's, you know, it's good to have long term goals, but my goals right now are like three month increments, right? It, give, it fills me up with energy, it drives me forward, it wakes me out of bed, right? If I'm, if I'm tired in bed and I think about like the, what I have to do the day, it wakes me up, I, I get energized. I go, I go start doing everything, right? It's not as sexy as, are you doing your dreams? But it is realistic. So follow that. Energy is the metric. Peace.